This morning we're joined by Suresh Manikam, who's the CEO of Restaurant and Catering Australia, to answer some of those uh, those questions and points that people were making on Friday. Suresh, good morning. Good morning, James. How are you? Yeah, well, how, how do you explain this? If a place said, let's start with a simple service charge. If it says, you know, on the menu there's a 10% service charge, what's that for? Yeah, so those service charges can be broken down to a number of different things. And, and uh, there could be a, a surcharge, for example, for credit cards. Uh, but there can also be a surcharge for uh, public holidays or Sundays. Uh, so obviously they will only be then applicable for a public holiday or a Sunday. Now, the reason that the uh, restaurants put a uh, surcharge on is it is a way to recoup the costs that they're uh, assuming uh, because of a uh, Sunday holiday, a uh, Sunday or a public holiday. Okay, so now this, this, we, we've understood that one for a while. This is a 10% service charge, which is on during the week. Well, uh, my experience has been the uh, surcharges for public holidays have always only been on weekends or uh, public holidays. So, okay, well, sorry, sorry, but this is quite common. We had lots of calls. We, as soon as we mentioned around the office, everyone's seen this. They, they, they started with, with you and our producer going to the pub and there was a big sign up behind the bar just saying 10% service charge. Yeah, it's interesting. We, we've just recently sur- uh, surveyed our uh, industry. Okay, and what we've dis- what we've discovered is this: that uh, uh, about twenty five percent of the industry put a ten percent surcharge on, but only for those public holidays and and uh, and weekends. About thirty nine percent put a fifteen percent surcharge on, but the remainder do not. Um, so uh, it's it's interesting that uh, your audience is. is having a different experience yeah well we seem to be you know like this is this was not uncommon that last caller who's talking about there was a there was a service charge as soon as the booking over eight and then there was a 10 percent alcohol charge i mean i i a business can charge what they like but it just seems odd to me that they start putting it on as a sort of 10 percent charge it should just be in the price shouldn't it oh i see so uh, the group booking charge can of course fall out outside of the public holidays. Um, same also with credit card charges and uh, what's called a cakeage charge. So th- those are, you know, discretionary, obviously. Uh, if you um, if you pay your uh, council rates on, online like I do, you'll be hit with a credit card charge. Yeah. Uh, if, if you go to Qantas and want to fly, you know, to Melbourne, yeah. you'll be hit with a credit card charge. So these things aren't uncommon for businesses to pass off. Yeah. I, 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 sorry, I, I, you know, I, I'm not trying to have a go at you, but there does seem to be a disconnect here between what we're hearing and what you think is going on. People are charging a 10% service charge all week. Well, again, look, I'd, I'd have to say that's, that's different to our experience. As I said, we've just recently surveyed the industry and, and that's not the experience that we're getting back from the industry. So, right. um, you know, happy to take that on board. But uh, as I said, it's not the experience that we've got. Mm. What do you think, this was a sort of slightly, you know, tangential, but in, in the same sort of area, and it's more of an etica question almost. I'm a bit confused about tipping when I'm doing all the ordering on the QR code. Um, and it's sort of, and often I'm being asked to tip at the moment that I order, and it's it's sort of like, eh, what's what's that about? Well, that that's right. And tipping, as you know, is entirely uh, discretionary. So uh, tipping uh, really originated overseas, uh, where uh, the wait staff and and chefs were paid a much lower rate. Um, here, uh, it is not mandatory, um, and so it's up to you, the consumer, to then uh, decide as to whether you want to tip or not. Yeah, but I mean, the QR codes and the apps and even some of the payment <clears throat> makes it sort of as though I've got, I've, got to, I've got to avoid the tip. And then I'm very confused about, uh, you know, when I'm ordering on the app and I've done all this work on the table, and I've had to enter my email and my you know, credit card and all these sort of details. Am I tipping? Well, it, it should ask whether you would like to uh, provide a tip. Um, it's a simple yes or no. Uh, if you elect not to provide a tip, then you just go straight to uh, paying the bill in full. Yeah. Suresh, good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Suresh Manikam is the CEO of the restaurant and catering in Australia.